the reasons for fight in homes and unfaithfulness marital fights and unfaithfulness it's one thing to get married it's another thing to live in that home is that true many of our homes and our marriages are shattered in pieces and we need to find out what is wrong why do we have fights two people sorry do you accept this what you didn't wait for them to finish talking do you take this lady as your wedding what yes you far by the grace of god yes two of you said you would you are you doing yes think about it oh yes does anybody has anything against this marriage nobody's now we declare you husband and wife you poor are hugging and kissing and you are happy two years later the man looks at you who did i marry he wrote songs called you the lily of the valley called you all kinds of things sugar in his tea mosquito in his net after two years three years there is fight can i tell you something let me run faster than myself and tell you sex is not enough to preserve the strength of marriage because i have seen people with eight children how did they get the eight children i will kill you this is a man that slept with his wife to have eight children now you will kill her hallelujah so what are the reasons do you know listen statistic tells us that one out of every two marriages in america ends up in a divorce within the first five years right now this thing has gotten so bad that in many churches now you go to church and go to court too it wasn't really like that but what is happening in this society now a man can be married and leave his state and come somewhere and just be strolling come for koinonia see a very nice lady like this turn her mind like a pendulum and then get married to her go and buy small golf and give the parents the father will say you must marry this guy you must marry him we have suffered it's enough now you get married only to find out that you are the wife of somebody else's you are a concubine why do we have fights and then i want to tell you something the rate of unfaithfulness listen this is a study i made by myself the rate of unfaithfulness in christian marriages i was talking with my sister yesterday and she was telling me of a survey that they did in our local church not somewhere else our local church married women that are not submissive and ladies that are promiscuous that have really spoiled i don't mean uh, okay you went and slept with somebody by mistake willful willing conscious derailing from the things of god when they announced the statistics to the church parents were afraid parents were afraid fathers were afraid mothers nobody trusted themselves again which one are you in these statistics now because they didn't announce anybody's name when my sister told me he touched me hallelujah do you know right now there is almost no trust in our homes hallelujah some of you you are even in a relationship because of how the guy is behaving like an armed robber once he goes to his himself you quickly carry the phone let me check who called uh-huh uh-huh and then the guy will save the lady's name as joseph oh come on we know these things say ah joe yeah when you have moved you say ah, why are you calling me by this time now you don't know my wife is at home immediately i come have you delivered it okay i'm coming to lagos first thing in the morning please don't waste my time I, I need to spend time with my wife i found out that i've not been spending time with her and she's laughing not knowing that the man is unfaithful so why is this happening i can act if ministry didn't work i would have done <laughs> hallelujah number one the reasons why we have fights violating the love respect principle how many of you remember our love respect principle what's the principle that husbands should do what love their wives ephesians chapter 5 
from verse 22 to 25 husbands love your wives wives submit you honor i told you that love for a man means respect and honor nothing more nothing less to the degree to which you respect and honor your husband that's the degree to which you love him hallelujah and for the ladies the degree to which you love her you care for her you give her time remember our five love languages number one words of affirmation number two eh? acts of service number three receiving gifts only ladies are talking number four quality time number five physical touch no it's not we're talking marriage now so you don't need to start it the star was before you get married once the pastor says husband and wife god himself takes his star away until then god himself stamps it there if you force the door to open it will open hallelujah number one violating the love respect principle how many men don't respect their wives two of them go for a program you see the man disgracing the wife have you seen some of our parents do that don't pretend as if and you and it will be paining you you see the woman will just keep quiet or the woman disgracing her husband you go there's small popcorn you are about living uh, madam can i fetch for this you are fetching people are saying what kind of woman is this the husband is just standing you don't know that you are bearing his image the man is saying honey let's go say i won't go let me do this do we have this in our house and you are just fetching the love respect principle the love respect principle all the guys say i will love my wife say it i will love my wife and the lady say i will honor my husband so that's the number one reason number two i won't talk much about that we are not in a strict only few people are married here so i won't talk emotional dissatisfaction not satisfying themselves sexually and all of that leave it there i'm not saying more hallelujah thank god there's marriage counseling go to your marriage counselor hallelujah but emotional dissatisfaction and this is not just sex spending time together there is an emotional dimension is limited before you get married but when you get married come on it's part of what keeps the bond it is a very serious reason why men listen please a woman who is busy you are a tailor you are a contractor you have restaurant you are you are in french school you are learning another language every time you are, your husband will say only oh, you you are embarrassing him you are making him beg you to sleep with you he will keep quiet one day he will stop talking to you ah you find out that your house help is happy walking in the house very excited madam how are you fine how is everything god has been faithful that's a sign that there's fire on the mountain i'm giving you an honest and a very candid advice listen let me tell you something god who designed intimacy is not foolish are you listening to me violating any of god's principle tightening lack of intimacy whatever it is will cost you a lot sisters let me advise you you are not in your house you are supposed to preserve and help the man do you know the wife is supposed to cover for the man your husband is a nice handsome man of god he goes to minister in a convention god moves and honor you you are there snapping and they're saying how does it feel to be you know this bishop's wife you are talking one other lady is giving him compliments say, sir uh, please god gave me this prophetic instruction i i need to come and clean your shoes clean your trousers the man says, and he says sir i insist will you will you hinder an innocent lady like the man says, all right if you insist aha uh -huh. you were not there the media is carrying your face you are happy you never had it that good now you are enjoying it many women are careless about their men i'm not saying just be irresponsible and you can't allow the man rest he's having a meeting you are in front of the the meeting door you are saying whatever this meeting is it will finish in my presence here there are women like that this is insecurity 
your husband wants to book ticket you are there how many people no no trust there must be trust but in the midst of it there are efforts that you must make are you listening to me don't allow any you know christian homes you can see a woman just come at an odd time and say i want to come and visit your husband she's calling him all kinds of names an unbeliever will tell you straight there i hope you know unbeliever women they won't talk, they will say please call it jealousy call it whatever let me tell you let it not happen again church people say if i talk like that what of in the fellowship uh-huh it's until the man travels for a business trip four months you are not there. later on one of his friends that cannot keep his mouth shut to say madam i need to talk to you this thing is paining me and the way i trust you i must tell you you see that hotel there your husband is there go and meet him there for four months he has been there abroad emotional dissatisfaction is a very serious issue are you listening to me i didn't want to touch the issue but it's becoming necessary hallelujah brother you are fasting one week two weeks immediately you finish you started maranatha fast you finish amageddon fast now wow why did you marry why did you marry you would have stayed alone there must be a place when you get married define your lives are you listening to me it's very important there's a book or a robots wrote one of the reasons why he said he was successful in ministry was he had very close sexual intimacy with his wife i don't mean i hope you know what i'm talking about some of you, your mind is already uh -uh. to the pure all things are pure hallelujah number three financial issues sorry my dear are you tired financial issues very important why there are fights on faithfulness marriage financial issues poverty is a very bad thing i hope you know lack is a very bad thing finance lack of finance has led to the breaking of many good homes 